wherever you are in the world, there's a likely chance that you're constantly surrounded by birds and maybe never give them a second thought, but you're missing out. These are fascinating creatures and there are 10,000 unique species on this earth. In this video, we'll be bringing out your inner bird watcher means that these guys in the wild are exposed to temperatures from zero degrees Celsius all the way up to over 40 degrees Celsius. And explaining how amazing birds can be, here are the 15 most unique birds in the world. Pelican Carrier Perhaps one of the strangest looking birds on this planet is the pelican carrier, whose beak looks like a walnut. It's either a specific breed of the pelican carrier pigeon or a pigeon without a specific mutation or disorder. That's the level of mystery behind this bizarre bird. There's very little information about this pigeon and we're not even sure that this bird is even real. According to one poster on Reddit, it's not real. The nut beak pigeon images are all pigeons where someone has put their beaks into a walnut. One thing we do know is that the general pelican carrier pigeon has a very exotic beak of its own and doesn't look too far off from a walnut either. At one point in time, pigeons were domesticated animals like cats or dogs. Before you could WhatsApp one of your friends, you had to write a note and give it to a carrier pigeon who would be trained to bring it over to your friend. The pigeon carrier is believed to have arrived through the selective breeding of pigeons with the rock dove. But the walnut nose is still a bit of a mystery. So let's move on. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Next up, we have our missing topic. The last bird we looked at was a bit peculiar, whereas this particular one looks like something out of this world. This bird was found on a nature reserve in South America. The reserve contains all sorts of exotic birds, but this one surprisingly appeared out of nowhere and shocked all of the people working there. The nature reserve was open to visitors, but was shut down once they found this guy. They have no idea who or what it is. They conducted DNA tests and it bears no resemblance to the other birds in the sanctuary. Some say it's not a bird, and even reptilian. Some have suggested that this bird could have come from somewhere else. As bold as this may sound, some at the reserve say this could be extraterrestrial life. That's where we need your help. What do you think it is? Make sure to let us know and include the hashtag missing topic. We're excited to hear what you have to say. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Frogmouth One of Australia's most beloved birds is the tawny frogmouth, and I probably don't need to tell you how it got its name. These are found across rural and urban areas and come out for mating season between May and December, but don't expect to see them so easily. These birds are also masters of disguise. They can often stand perfectly still on a tree branch and look like they're part of the tree. They can survive the most extreme temperatures, from the bitter cold winters to the scorching hot summers. Its feathers work as a form of insulation, which protects against both cold and the heat. The lifestyle of these birds is remarkably cute. Both mom and dad split their time equally when it comes to building the nest, incubating the eggs, and feeding the chicks. And once a frogmouth meets their mate, they're a mate for life. The male gently strokes the female with its beak, and experts believe that they even grieve when one of their partners dies. One bird behavior expert said, it sounds like a baby crying. It affects you to listen to it. <laughs> Inca Tern Believe it or not, there are birds who have a mustache. This is the Inca Tern, which is the Tom Selleck of the bird kingdom. Apparently, the length of the mustache is an indicator of how healthy the bird is. So the longer, the better. And it's not just the males who have mustaches, it's the ladies too. And the long mustache is also an attractive feature. So the longer the mustache, the better the chance the Inca Tern will have at getting a mate. These birds are only found along the Pacific coast of South America and can be found in Peru and Chile. They're also extremely skilled flyers who swoop into the water to catch fish. They've been known to even swipe fish out of a sea lion's mouth. Inca terns are also big fans of anchovies, so the bird is sadly at risk of going extinct due to overfishing by humans. Hopefully, these mustachioed birds will be better protected in the future. <laughs> Southern Ground Hornbill If you're ever in the jungle in South Africa and you hear the sound of a roaring lion, it might actually be the southern ground hornbill. This bird manages to make an extremely similar sound, 
These birds all make a chorus of noise before dawn. The appearance of these birds is rather striking too, with their black feathers and red beaks and throat wattle. Females usually have a violet blue throat wattle. And these birds are not to be messed with. Some of the prey they hunt on include insects, toads, lizards, snakes, rats, and even small monkeys. It uses its long bill to slice its food. In traditional African cultures, these birds were believed to be harbingers of rain. They were given a sacred status and were never hunted, which has allowed them to last longer than other birds. Sadly, since these African cultures are dying out, the sacred status of these birds is also dying out, so these beautiful birds are also under threat of becoming extinct. One of the strangest reasons behind their extinction is sometimes these birds are deliberately poisoned for breaking windows. They don't deliberately break windows, but simply attack their own reflection and smash the glass. <laughs> Victoria Crowned Pigeon We don't normally view pigeons as exotic. In fact, some people even refer to pigeons as bird rats because of their diseases that they carry. But the Victoria Crowned Pigeon is one of the most elegant birds out there. The bird is named after Queen Victoria and not a lot of birds out there can say that they've been named after royalty. Believe it or not, these birds are also the closest living relatives to the now extinct dodo. These birds are normally found in northern New Guinea and in some parts of Indonesia. You're also more likely to see this in captivity than out in the wild. They're mostly seen in zoos or aviaries either in the UK or the United States. They live in the forest, but like most pigeons, they spend their time walking along the ground. They'll only fly if they've been spooked or feel like they're in danger. Unlike most pigeons, they don't make a coo sound. Instead, they make a fairly loud boom noise. Otherwise, they're fairly docile creatures. When in zoos or in captivity, they're usually given a lot of freedom as they don't present any dangers to the other birds or animals. <laughs> Mandarin duck. Our next bird seems too strange to be true. Birds have often been the subjects of paintings, but this particular duck has such vibrant and distinct colors that it almost looks like a painting itself. It looks like something from Chinese or Japanese art. The Mandarin duck is regarded as the most beautiful species of duck. This is a native of China and Japan and is known for its beautiful plumage. It's as if they have sails on their back too. These birds are naturally quite shy. It's rare that you'll see them just wandering around the pond, but instead will live in an overhanging willow. These can also be found in the UK. They were in captivity in England and have either been released or escaped and are now in the wild of this region too. But as we mentioned earlier, these guys keep to themselves and might be very difficult to find. Scarlet Iwi The bird Iwi is mostly associated with the islands of Hawaii. It's believed in Hawaii that the demigod Maui was so fond of these birds that it was he who painted them the beautiful red and gold colors they are today. They're only about six inches tall and have wonderfully curved beaks, which are particularly useful for drinking nectar. The birds are also known for their memorable chirping song, who make the songs of stones dropping in water, a rusty hinge, and the sound of balloons rubbing together. These birds are particularly under threat to mosquitoes the birds simply have no resistance to malaria, but because this bird is seen as almost a symbol of Hawaii, there are huge efforts underway to protect this species, and rightly so. <laughs> finch Chicks The Gouldian Finch Chicks are like the real-life versions of the Ugly Duckling. They're beautiful when they're adults, but when they're chicks, they look quite terrifying. They're born with little blue heads, which look like tiny pearls. Although they look fairly creepy, they're actually useful for their parents when trying to spot them in the dark. It's a common explanation that these markings are to help the mother find the mouths of their chicks and be able to feed them in the dark. Some also argue that the pearls are also believed to be a defense against parasites. The finch bird is often the victim of parasitic birds secretly planting their eggs in their nests. So the finch birds evolve these very distinct markings to separate themselves from these markings. Some scientists even believe that parasites have also evolved to mimic these markings too. But after about a month, these little birds start growing feathers. This makes them look a lot like actual birds and less creepy. <laughs> Sword-billed hummingbird We probably don't need to explain to you why the word-billed hummingbird is so unique. 
As well as its sword-like beak, it's the only bird whose beak is bigger than the rest of its body. This sword, as you can imagine, is very useful in scaring away predators. Their long beak is also incredibly useful for the Passeliflora. This is a flower whose corolla tube cannot be reached by any other bird or insect, and it's only the sword-billed hummingbird who can do it. So this flower would simply die out if it weren't for these amazing birds. It's said that this plant and this bird have evolved together. The men are covered in glittery green, whereas the ladies are colored green with black. And amazingly, they can also fly backwards or even hover in the air. These birds are creatures of habit. They'll visit the same flowers almost every day and at roughly the same time. They usually go for bright tubal flowers as these are likely to have the highest sugar content. Patahoe. When you think of who is the most dangerous bird on the planet, you might single out eagles, emus, or falcons, but this deceptively cute little bird might need consideration. The Patohui is the world's first confirmed case of a bird being poisonous. These are usually found in Papua New Guinea, and the locals have known for quite some time to stay away from these guys. The local communities have even nicknamed it Garbage Bird as they once tried to cook it and it gave off a rather disgusting smell. It was from then on only eaten as a very last resort. They're believed to have the same poison found in poison dart frogs, and its poison can be very painful and last a couple of hours. They do not have enough poison to kill a human being, but enough to make you think twice about going anywhere near them. So, how did the bird get poisonous? Well, the bird does not naturally have the poison inside of it. What this bird does is actually quite clever. It feeds on poisonous insects or bugs and sequesters or hides away this poison. Then, when an unwanted intruder strikes, he's ready to hit them with it. The poison contained inside this bird has been found all over its system, including internally. The fact that it's been found internally also means that this bird is resistant to the poison. <laughs> Lyrebird When you hear a bird chirping, how do you imagine it sounds? Well, the lyrebird is a bit of an impressionist. It can make the sounds of other birds as well as chainsaws and car alarms. Whatever it hears, it can also replicate exactly how it sounds. Parrots can mimic human speech, but this bird is simply a step above. He has a unique voice box, which allows it to make a completely versatile range of sounds. It can even carry two sounds at the same time. It's essentially the bird kingdom's answer to beatboxers. And like many talented musicians, this bird uses its talents to woo the opposite sex. Apparently, they make a bird song generated from numerous other bird songs to attract mates of the opposite sex. They're not only just fascinating to listen to either, they actually are quite a sight to see themselves. The birds do have some beautiful tail feathers. And if any Australians are watching this video, you might recognize this bird from the back of the 10p coin. Shoebill Stork The shoebill stork is exactly as it sounds a stork with a nice beak that looks like a shoe. It's also famous for staring at people. These are probably the most frightening birds on this list. When these storks live as babies in their mother's nest, they can be terrifyingly ruthless with their siblings. If one stork is born a few weeks earlier and is slightly bigger and stronger, it'll attack its younger sibling, sometimes drawing blood. BBC producer Alex Lanchester said it would drive its siblings over to the side of the nest. When the parent arrived, it favored the larger chick shading it from the sun with its wings and giving it water from its bill. The younger chick was forced into the heat and died slowly. It's sibling rivalry taken to a deadly extreme, but it's the parents that are responsible for this as well. In something known as brood reduction, a bird with a limited food supply will give preference to the oldest chick as this one has the best chance of surviving. As you can see, these are fairly big birds and are 5 feet high and 7 feet long. They're known to fight alligators and win. They're particularly known for staring at other animals, including people. This has quite understandably creeped many humans out, leading some African tribes to believe that they bring bad luck. It's got a massive beak, which has too many functions. First, it's great for catching fish, which is its main source of food. Second, it also is good for scooping up water, which it wants to bathe or provide drinking water for its chicks. <laughs> Hotsin. Our next amazing bird is the Hotsin. The Hotsin is rather unflatteringly known as the stink bird or skunk bird because of its disgusting smell. They're also very clumsy and noisy as well, so definitely not the fanciest birds on the list. 
One rather fascinating feature of these birds is the claws on their wings, which is similar to Jurassic-era dinosaurs. Some scientists believe that this bird could be linked or related to Archaeopteryx. This was a dinosaur species which closely resembled a bird and is believed to be the first ever bird to exist. The bird is very much its own and is not related to any other bird species currently on this planet. You'll most likely see this bird perched in wetland areas of South America. They eat leaves, flowers, buds, and other vegetation. There's actually some debate on just how smelly these birds are. The odor either varies in strength or there are people who are particularly sensitive to this smell. An expert from Cornell University said, Hotsons in effect are flying cows. Their diet primarily is young leaves and buds, which are digested in the crop with the aid of bacteria and microbes. <laughs> Marabou Stork If you thought the shoebill stork was terrifying, the marabou stork might be even worse. It's largely believed to be one of the ugliest animals on the earth, and it doesn't have a nice personality to make up for it either. They've also been nicknamed the Undertaker Bird because from behind they look like an old Undertaker's cloak. The birds also have skinny legs and a long white tuft of hair on their head. This stork doesn't have a voice box, so it's normally completely silent. However, when it needs to speak, it will use its throat pouch or clatter its bills together. They're opportunistic birds when it comes to hunting. When a fire breaks out, most animals would flee the area, but the marabou stork travels toward the fire like a moth to a flame, as the animals hidden in the area will emerge to escape the fire. It's also one of the laziest birds out there. It spends most of the day just standing around and will only move around if it needs to. But when it's hungry or needs to hunt, it's anything but lazy. This thing will hunt insects, smaller birds and fish, but it will also hunt snakes and crocodiles. And if you're hunting crocodiles and snakes, I'd imagine that you can't do this in a lazy fashion. They've also been known to eat adult flamingos. And the massive pouch on its neck is not used for storing food. During mating season, the stork will inflate its throat pouch to mark its territory and hope to entice a mate. Despite all of the horrible aspects of this stork, deep inside they are hopeless romantics and have the same partner for life. These storks are also hunted by humans in Nigeria. The strange reason behind this is that they're used for alternative medicine. Cuckoo Roller Lastly, we finish with the elusive cuckoo roller. It's only when you go close up that you really realize how fascinating these look. Its eyes are quite far up and even on the side of its face. These are native to Madagascar and its surrounding islands. It's not even a cuckoo or a roller either, but has the long tail of a cuckoo and the large head of a roller, so it was given this name. It shares no relation with either of these birds. These birds have a partner for life and are completely monogamous. They're one of few birds on this list which are plentiful and not endangered in any way. They're also considered fairly docile and friendly birds. In some areas of Madagascar, these birds are believed to be bringers of good luck and good weather. So we'll have to leave you with this good luck charm to finish the video. And that brings us to the end of another video. Hopefully your appreciation of birds has been enhanced after watching it. And if you enjoyed it, you can support the channel by giving the video a like and subscribing to get notified for future videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.